Hello, everyone. I'm Pastor Jennifer. I send to you warm greetings from South Korea, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Let me share today the fifth sermon in my sermon series entitled "Christ Inquiring." This is part one, and let me share the rest next time. He who plants and he who waters are one. And we are God's fellow workers, who work for God's calling, with the same vision, for the same purpose. This is a quote from Senior Pastor Yoon Dae-jin's sermon. This title requires one thing of us all, who are supposed to be God's fellow workers. It is for us to fix our eyes upon God. The moment we set our eyes on the earth, ourselves, our desires, or our authorities, we naturally come to think, judge, and do things according to the flesh, not according to the spirit. Most importantly, we come to oppose God. Some people challenge Jesus' authority in today's text. They are chief priests and elders of the people of Israel. So let us see what Jesus did before today's text in Matthew 21. Jesus enters Jerusalem, even knowing that he will suffer and be killed. He also finds the temple, having become like a marketplace full of sellers and buyers. Then he drives them out of the temple, saying, My house will be called a house of prayer, but you make it a den of robbers. Jesus also heals the blind and the lame. He rebukes unfruitful figs. What he need to pay attention to, seeing all he did, is his eyes that are firmly fixed on God, because he was after God's heart. He himself became indignant with what God would hate to see. The thing is, the chief priests and the elders of the people hated to see Jesus doing what he had to do. So they come threatening me. They then inquired Jesus, saying, by what authority are you doing these things, and who gave you this authority? The original word exousia, used for the word authority, means authority to rule, jurisdiction, right to judge, or a freedom to action. They are asking where Jesus' authority came from, but they are not considering God at all as its source. Their eyes are not on God at all. They are just arguing according to the rules of the world, regarding Jesus as one invading their territories and challenging their authorities. And with their question, they are trying to say that he was nothing. Jesus does not answer them right away, and asks them a question instead, saying, The baptism of John, from where did it come? It's from heaven or from man? Unlike theirs, Jesus' question refers to heaven, that is, God. Indeed, all the words and actions of Jesus has always been inseparable from God, his Father. Jesus did all things he did in Matthew 21 for God and according to his will. His question was also after God's heart. He asked that because he saw them just fuss about some small side issues, ignoring what truly mattered. This way, he redirected their attention from their authorities to God. 
Then, what is the authority of Jesus? Where did it come from? And why is his authority not like that of the world? Let's look at some Bible verses that enlighten us concerning this. Let me read out of John chapter 5 verses 19 to 29 first. Verse 19. Whatever the Father does, that the Son does likewise. Verse 21. For as the Father raises the dead and gives them life, so also the Son gives life to whom he will. Verses 22 to 23. For the Father judges no one, but has given all judgment to the Son, that all may honor the Son, just as they honor the Father. Whoever does not honor the Son, does not honor the Father who sent him, and he has given him authority to execute judgment, because he is the Son of Man. In short, Jesus' authority comes from the Father, and He, the One who was born to the world, still being fully God, has the authority to give life to those whom He will, the authority to be honored by all, and the authority to execute judgment. The highlight of Jesus' authority, which is also not like the authority of the world is this. He has the authority to lay down his own life to save sinners from their sins. And Jesus did use this authority. John chapter 10 verse 18 says, No one takes my life from me, but I lay it down of my own accord. I have authority to lay it down. However, he, as God, also has the authority to take his life back. The rest of John 10, 18 says, And I have authority to pick it up again. This charge I have received from my Father, knowing that he would be raised from the dead. Jesus did not fear any evil that could be done to him by human authorities. He respected human authorities as they also came from God. But when he saw it in conflict with God's will, he chose to obey God's will. What about John that Jesus mentioned in his question? Let us find that out in my next video. Thanks for watching. God bless you all.